All righty, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. There it is, Knives Fast. Welcome, guys. Say hello to Ren and well, boy, it's backwards. Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, and let's get started. Uh, is that color bar Victor Knox? Uh, Rick Ker Karens asks, is the color bar Victor Knox from the International? It's from the latest series this year. I'm not sure. I think it might be the International series, but it just, it was a series of about 10 different ones that just dropped about a month ago. <laughs> Jason Brown, that somehow does not make me feel better. That's hilarious. You guys are funny. Uh, welcome. Let's see who we've got so far. I know I've seen Ethan Ruins in DC, Jason Brown, Andrew Hobart, uh, Monster Racing. Welcome, welcome, Rick. Uh, let's see. Who am I missing? Michael Morgan. Is that it so far? If I've missed anybody, I really apologize. I'm going to scroll back up. I think that's it right now, but... I'm sure, uh, as they say, if you build it, they will come. Uh, so if we go live, they will come. Uh, and there we go. Andy Smith, welcome, welcome, my friend. Andy, uh, Andy, for you guys that don't know, Andy works where I work. Hey, eggs and ham, welcome. And he is a safety officer. So he was critiquing my Evatac Shadow Ranger video uh, for the purposes of uh, safety uh, when I had the glove on the wrong hand. So yeah, that, that wasn't good. So, but I survived, uh, the knife did not, and we'll go from there. So, <laughs> so let's see, we're up to 13. We're going to give it a few more minutes here. Uh, Pro X 1840. Welcome brother. You said you'd be here and you sure are. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, uh, Jason, just so you know, just for you, see, I have my hat on, so I hope that helps. Jared White, welcome, welcome. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. Oh, boy, he's here, and he's already starting with me. Um, Paul Bessemer, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the Knives Fast KF Live number 10, guys. This is the 10th uh, KF Live stream. Doesn't seem possible, but it is. And uh, guys, I did this kind of as a test case the first couple of times. Well, the first one was a disaster, uh, but the rest of them were kind of a test case to see uh, how you guys would uh, like this and if if it'd be something you would enjoy. And uh, it has been amazing to me to see that you guys enjoy it and to be able to, to run with it. So thank you so much, DC McEwen. Uh, hello there. Welcome, welcome. Jay Leprogoblicon. Look at that. I can say it now, guys. What's up? What's up? Welcome. Let's see. Everybody saying hi to everybody. Glad you didn't get hurt. Didn't hurt yourself, bud. Happy the Evitat got beat down. So here's the thing. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to say this, and I'm starting to say this to some fellow knife reviewers. I am going to challenge everybody out there. If you have one of these things, you and I both know what it's what it's good for. Everybody catch on and go do your video and go beat that thing up. That's all. That's all I got. Paper Tiger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. B beautiful night in Michigan. Okay. Uh, it, it started to get a little warmer here in Virginia today, and it's supposed to actually get up in the 90s this weekend. Not excited about that. So hopefully it's a little cooler than that up in Michigan. Uh, let's see. Addicted to Blades too. Manny Z. Welcome, welcome. Man, people jumping in left and right. I love it. Look at that. There's my buddy Peter walking the dog and listening. Therapeutic Edge. Guys, check him out. If you if you don't know Peter's channel, then I don't know who you are. So, But if you don't, go check out a Therapeutic Edge. Um, all right. And uh, there we go. So let's get rolling a little bit. I'm going to keep saying hi to people. Cody W., welcome. Welcome. Heck yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, hey, you, Peter. Uh, so this is what I had in my pocket today, guys, uh, what you see on the table here. Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to shout out to my buddy. Uh, well, of course, mild mannered EDC gave me, Brad gave me this pin. Uh, but then, uh, my buddy, uh, lefty EDC told me I'm, I'm big into gel pins 
And so he told me about some inserts. Let's see, do I have them? Oh, I thought I brought them down here where I could show them to you guys. I guess I didn't. I don't know what I did with them. So I was going to show you, and now I don't even remember what they're called. Look at that. I know I brought them down here. There they are. Okay. Whew. Okay. So, yeah, the inserts that I have in here are a two-pack of Schmidt Easy Flow 9000. I don't know if you can see that. Black ink, uh, and it is gel. It's gel ink, and uh, I'm digging it already. It had a blue uh, ink in there before. There's the blue one there. Uh, the uh, Parker Jotter did, uh, and I just prefer black, and I prefer gel. Let's see. Hey, there's my buddy, Big Red EDC. Welcome, JB. Welcome, Mark Herrera. Let's see. Let's see. Who else did I miss here? Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I think I have said hi to everyone I'm seeing here. So that's good. We'll keep going. So uh, it's JB Day anyway. So since he's here uh, in the pocket today is the mini Adamus from Benchmade. This is the black. And I guess you call that a silver, silverish gray uh, coating there that they've got on this one. Um, guys, I'm really a digging, I'm really digging this one, uh, very, very much. It is here. We'll just do this for a minute. It is a fidget. Well, of course, if I don't screw it up from behind the camera, it is so fidgety and fun, really dig it. So we'll leave that one open so you can see it. And then also JB's the Latvend mini from Kaiser, small, thin, slicey, very slicey, uh, really digging this knife. Very, very much. And then the, some of the standards. I don't have the color bar knife with me today, uh, but I do have the Tour uh, Pocket EDC tool or uh, multi-tool, they call it. I have my, um, I still keep saying I'm going to get a second flashlight just to have something to compare it to, but that is the Streamlight MicroStream and the Leatherman Micra today. So that's kind of what I got in the pocket today. Uh, there you go. Any questions about anything you see before we move on? Uh, I'm Like I said, both of these knives are really impressing me uh, in different ways, of course. I mean, the, uh, the uh, Mini Adamus is an overbuilt, crazy, you know, really nice EDC or work knife. I'm really interested to see the full size one just out of curiosity. Uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to do that at Blade Show, um, but I am really digging that. And then a little different, uh, a lightweight, thin and slicey version of the, the Latvin Mini. And obviously the Benchmade is over, I, I don't know, 250 or something, 240 I don't know what the price is off the top of my head. And then the Latvin Mini, I think, is like $60. Obviously different, different worlds. We have crew wear steel on the Adamas. And I believe uh, in Bowler N690 on the Kaiser. So re really cool stuff. Really enjoying both of those. JBs, thanks so much. Uh, okay, so Andrew, real quick. Uh, if you have both of them, and which one do you prefer? And, uh, you know, uh, what size hands do you have, glove size? You know, I'm just curious. Because I, I keep going back and forth. I'm really starting to get into larger knives. <laughs> Uh, lately, and uh, I'm just curious if I would like which one of those I would like better. Uh, yeah, I love the Latvend, and I love that Boba Fett uh, pattern. I don't know if you guys saw my picture on Facebook, on uh, uh, Instagram last week with uh, uh, Grogu uh, stealing my knife. That was not very nice, or JB's knife, I should say. D -d 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 210 on the Mini Adamas. Okay, all right. All right, and I think, so that must mean the full size is closer to 250 then. Da, 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 fashionably late, there he is, everybody, with a wrench beside his name. We have we have three wrenches in the chat now here. This is great. Uh, and Nebby Cloud, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Did I miss anybody? I know I said hi to Mark Herrera. Man, guys, I, I always hate the thought of missing somebody because you guys are so great for showing up. So if I miss anybody, somebody yell at me. John, you have permission to yell at me if I miss talking to somebody. So how about that? <laughs> Winchester is in the house. Uh, I almost miss Winchester, but thankfully, uh, Michael Morgan, ladies and gentlemen, it's Winchester. Very good. Very good. That is awesome. So uh, yeah, just a really great, to me, this says really good EV EDC uh, grouping. 
uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should check it out. But if you do follow me on Instagram, um, I often post everything that's in my pocket, uh, as I did today. And so, uh, that'll give you a shot kind of at what I am carrying on that day. I know John, I know almost, I like the word almost. That's good. So, uh, let's go ahead and go for it. We've got, uh, 29 people in the chat screaming pirate. Welcome, Brad. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, and, uh, if you guys haven't checked him out yet, brand new, uh, YouTube channel, Screaming Pirate EDC already. I mean, you guys need to go check out his collection video. Holy cow, what a collection. Um, of course, check out my collection videos if you haven't already. But his, uh, yeah, different class than mine so far. Uh, I hope to keep working mine up there. But uh, his is pretty daggone uh, amazing. So check that out. Hey, anytime, my friend. Um, so what are, what are you guys carrying today? Let's hear it. Uh, let's, let's have a look at what's in your pocket today. And I'm actually going to have, uh, something later on, uh, you know, later on in the live, I'm probably going to ask you guys another interactive question. So we're going to have some fun today. I'm done adulting for the month. I wish I could stop adulting. Uh, that'd be good. I've got, uh, I've got my, all my kids are too old to stop adulting. Um, Let's see. All right. Monster says a Kaiser. Oh boy. Alien and a Victorinox Tinker. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. Savivi Statera for J Lepragoblicon. Sorry, guys. This thing just starts jumping around. It drives me crazy. Andy with the CRKT Calico. Uh, a new one for you. Okay, so guys, I think I've I've uh, killed poor Andy. Uh, he has started on the uh, the downward spiral of buying knives. <laughs> he already had quite a few, but I think I think he's spiraling a little bit more these days. So, uh, welcome, Andy, Newfoundland knife guy with the Savivi Praxis, uh, the Gerber Pry Bar, or the Goop Goober Gerber Pry Bar, and an Olight I five T. I'm just kidding. Pro X 1840 with the Rake. The Rake. See, I, I still want to call it Rake, even though I know it's Rake. Uh, P801. Is that the SF version? Uh, really dig that one. The best tech sledgehammer for JB. Uh, I loved your uh, stories with the, uh, I'm not going to sing, but with the uh, sledgehammer song going on there. That was good. Uh, Jared White, Kershaw, Highball. TAC Knives, MD6, and Olight I3T. So, I, yeah, I'm going to have to get an, an Olight. I think I'm the only person in the universe without an Olight. Uh, Off-Grid Viper and Misirin Plow for Mark Herrera. Very cool. A Riat, a Riat, 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 see, I can't do it. Uh, Riat Tribute uh, for ENG EDC. Welcome, Ian. I don't think I said hello to you. And so, hello, Manny C with the 20. Uh, now it jumped. Man, Manny had something. Manny Z with the 20 CV Capara. Uh, John Grateful Panic has the a the Purvis Primordial and the MBK Field Tracker. Very cool. Screaming Pirate with the Benchmade Anthem and the Protect Rock Eye. Okay, guys, you see what I'm saying? His collection. Benchmade Anthem and a Protect Rock Eye in his pocket right now. Okay. Uh, Artisan Tacit. Prototype. Okay. Uh, therapeutic edge. That's an interesting one. I have to check that out. Uh, let's see. Andrew Hobbert with the Ritter Hogue Mini RSK1, which might be sitting right here. Uh, this is Rusty Knife Lovers uh, RSK1. So very, very cool. And you also have the Spider Coast Shaman. Very cool. Uh, I'm saying very cool too much, but that's okay. Stitch and a bug out for Addicted to Blades 2. Awesome. Hey, thanks for putting up uh, Nebby Cloud, that link to Screaming Pirate. Guys, seriously, go check him out. Um, you know, I, I I was helped out by much larger channels. Definitely want to shout out some of these smaller channels or new channels, I should say. Uh, he's got a really cool style. He started a new thing called uh -oh, Gold or Garbage. Uh oh, I don't remember what it was called, but it's, it's really cool. Check it out. Newfoundland Knife Guy already said, yeah, I know it's Gerber. I'm just picking on you, man. Uh, Paper Tiger, uh, Kershaw Random Task, 
cool. Uh, it's sub to the loud pirate. Very cool. That's awesome. Uh, DLT exclusive Yo Jimbo with 20 CV for Nevi Cloud. Man, very nice. Paul Bessmer with the M Tech Tanto and Victorinox Classic. Very nice. Uh, Jason Brown, I get my work stuff in the pocket. Best Tech Texel. Uh, OG Leatherman right in the rain pouch with the notebook. Machine Era markup brass pen and stack gear tweezers and Leatherman squirt PS4. Man, Jason goes to work loaded for bear. There we go. Um, let's see. Who else have I missed here? Anybody? Anybody? Da, da, da. Uh, no, 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 no. I think also have my light, my Olight Warrior Mini, says Jason. He just wanted to make sure he threw out one more thing he had in his pockets today. Uh, oh, Ethan had the Benchmade Mini Presidio 2 today. Da, da, da. All right. Don't let me miss anybody here. Let's see. All right. Thank you, Jason Brown. Uh, and yeah, the Ritter Hogue is really cool. My review's coming up on that. I had, um, and I haven't seen Rusty yet. Is he okay? Uh, Rusty's usually one of the first ones here. So here's both of them because uh, I sort of did a comparison review, uh, which is funny when I do that because when I do two knives at the same time, I tend to go longer and it's not really knives fast anymore, but you get two for the price of one. But uh, I did two of those coming up uh, like that. Uh, Cody W with the XM18 DLT exclusive. That sounds cool. Um, ID Wolverine, welcome, brother. Uh, the CGRB Barranca today. I hope I got that right. I think I am. Um, uh, uh, uh. all right, and Screaming Pirate 113 subscribers, very cool. And Monster Racing just subbed as well. Uh, awesome, guys. I appreciate you checking him out. And so, we're gonna pull a couple of these off the table. And thanks for sharing what you guys were carrying today. Um, I wanted to share something I just saw and let me see um, if I can get the link to it because uh, I did not share this link with uh, Nebby Cloud. So I'm going to get it myself. But guys, you know, uh, I, I do have one link Nebby Cloud for uh, Tour Knives if you want to throw that up that I sent you. But guys, I, I got super excited. I've been telling you about the Tour Knives, folding knives that are coming out. And I don't want you to leave the stream right now, but you can for a minute and then come back. On Instagram, they have just launched images of the four knives. I have seen them for a few weeks now. I am incredibly excited. These are coming out June 1st, four different knives. It's actually three knives, one of which will have both a Tanto and a Drop Point, and the other two are different. Uh, so there's the link to their Instagram um, uh, post from earlier, and there uh is let's see uh yeah so there's the in the link to their instagram from earlier and uh go check that out and then guys remember uh when they do come out or if you do see anything on their website uh that you are interested in if you use this code right here that i just posted in the uh chat you get 10 percent off at checkout uh and i just think that's amazing that they offered that uh to this channel and I'm really happy about it. So I, I, I just like talking about it. But yeah, they're, um, those folders are going to be killer. I am very excited. These are made in San Diego by Tour. So these are not made by we like the last, uh, the Phoenix was. These are going to be made. And by the way, I didn't say anything. This is a Shadowborn Hank, uh, the Star Wars one. I think I won that from my buddy JB um, a while back. So there we go. Uh, but I am extremely excited. Hey, Wolverine, you can't go wrong with that pry bar, man, for 35 bucks. Well, and then minus the 10%. Uh, I just think it's pretty cool. I mean, it is thick, but it doesn't carry heavy. Uh, and I've used that uh, Phillips head several times already. And you can see I have pried a couple things. You can see where I kind of uh, marked up the coating a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool pry bar. Uh, the Merchant is pretty much my favorite of all of them, Peter, but, um, and I don't have the, the other names in my head, but there's, I just think all, all three of the designs, uh, are super awesome. And I am incredibly excited for those to come out. So cannot wait. 
Uh, and uh, sounds like June 1st now, so we don't have very long to wait. Um, yeah, I did see Andy on the Smoky Mountain Knife Works video. I saw about probably five minutes of it when he was talking about the Rough Rider Reserves. I plan to watch the rest of it here in a little bit, but um, that was really cool. Uh, it was like seeing my grandpa I hadn't seen. Yeah, it actually did make me sad. I was like, man, I miss seeing that guy. I, I, you know, I just love his sense of humor and just to hear him tell knife stories. It's it's super, super cool. So, so there you go. So thanks for sharing what you guys had in the pocket today. So before I jump into a couple other things, I wanted to do another little interactive thing because I think it's kind of fun. Uh, so I recorded uh, two days ago my next collection video, which is um, uh, the, the why am I blanking? Uh, traditional knives, and then the last one will be folders. Uh, the traditional knives one actually turned out really cool. I actually, you know, what's hilarious when you have a fairly large collection, sometimes you forget a couple things you own, uh, and so. I really enjoyed getting out my traditional ones, and I've actually carried a couple of them since then uh, that I had forgotten about, which is pretty sad. Um, so here we go with uh, the thing. So in that collection video is my very first knife that I owned personally. This is the Ulster uh, Boy Scout knife. Uh, my dad was my Cub Scout leader. Uh, pardon me if I get a little emotional because I miss my dad. Uh, this is an amazing memory, guys. It was given to me by my dad. And as you can see, about a hundred dozen knife for that. But when you're a kid, your dad says, go clean the have and you go clean it. And um, and as you can see, maybe I didn't clean the knife as well as I did the fish. Um, and so this guy. Uh, is one of those that will stay with me forever. Again, it's picked up over the years quite a bit of blade play. I do not remember that. It's probably some rust down in there, which is very sad. So I'm going to be very gentle with it. Uh, I'm not really going to open the other blades. I did that in my collection video. Uh oh, Jason says we're buffering. I hope it's an isolated incident. Incidents. Uh, you know what I didn't do today? I usually reboot my router right before this, and I didn't do that. So hopefully, uh-oh, I'm not seeing any more chats come through. Okay, here we go. So what I want to ask you guys, okay, Andy says, Andy's jumping ahead here. I uh, still got my Boy Scout as well as my dad's Army Service. That is awesome. So what I want to ask you guys is what was your first knife? Um, why don't you share it in the chat, and I would love to – to, to talk, uh, it was buffering. I'm sorry. Uh, again, I usually restart start my router right before just to rule out anything on my end, and I forgot to do that today. Um, okay, good. I'm glad it's getting better. So this, I'll just say it again then. This is the knife my dad gave me, my first knife, Cub Scout knife. Um, I, so many campouts and cookouts and fishing trips and uh, all that with my dad. And, and this is just an amazing memory for me. And guys, think about that. When you get your kids a knife, go do something with them with it. And uh, I just think, you know, that that's a memory they'll have forever. Um, yeah, that's the knife that started it all, Paper Tiger, for absolute sure. Knife dudes here. Welcome, welcome. Dennis Watson, welcome. There's a newbie. I love it. My friend. Uh, glad to have you. So let's see what we've got here. I had a little bit of ring. Okay. Does anybody, first knife was a Browning Prism 2. So Browning 2 when I was a teenager. I don't remember. Um, da -da -da -da. Uh, the, okay. So it was a Winger Camper uh, for JB. So uh, a, a Swiss Army knife, basically. That is really awesome. If I remember correctly. Uh, my first knife was my dad's uh, that he had with him when he was killed in a truck driving accident. That's awful and good. Good memory for you, but the way it. Um, let's see, Mark. Okay. Uh, Sharp 300 from the late 70s inherited from my dad. 
uh, gutted many deer with it. Yeah, that's, I mean, this one, and uh, yeah, I don't think it gutted it. It would be a little much, but uh, I definitely, and you know, it was funny, guys, funny story number 75. When I first uh, moved to where my grandmother was, my grandmother loved, to squ uh, we're buffering again, sorry. Uh, my gr grandmother loved to eat squirrel. And so we would go shoot squirrel and she got so mad at me and the way I cleaned them. I was 13. Okay. And uh, so she grabbed my knife and showed me how to do it. I'll never forget that. My 80 something year old grandmother out there uh, just cutting up squirrels uh, with my little pocket knife. So it was pretty funny. Um, let's see. Tim Cook, red speckled can knife. That is very cool. Uh, whatever it was is long gone. Plastic fake sta stag handle fixed entire. That's awesome. We're selling some knives. That's great. Grateful panic. Your dad's see. These are the kind of stories I was hoping for, guys. Passed down from your dad. That's exactly what I was thinking. My first knife was a fixed blade. It was a survive survive a compass. You know what? I had. I'd be glad I had one of those. We actually bought it out of some catalog and it had like fishing line and a little uh, uh, saw, you know, with the rings and uh, matches. And I don't know what else it had, it had inside of it when you unscrewed the compass. It was hilarious. Uh, that's why I got into knives. Thankfully, it wasn't uh, with my son. Wait, that's why I got into knives. Thankfully, it wasn't with my son and I. Yeah, and I remember you saying they were stolen. Man, you've things going on. Hey, Brad, thanks for coming by, man. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you. Uh, Andrew, don't remember my. Uh, used to go through Beater Kmart, Kmart and Walmart knives. Paul says, I have a, um, I still have my scout knives. My first was a knockoff Victorinox Tinker. Very cool. Uh, no name. Any uh bailing i said, okay cool uh da, 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 da. everybody's saying goodbye to scream pirate i miss anybody else a uh, therapeutic edge my first knife was 42 years ago a traditional two blade my dad gave me that's awesome um are you screwing with us why what do you mean am i screwing with you what am i doing john what do i do now uh michael morgan a rambo knife yes very very cool uh, Rick just found a knife that had my dad's name engraved on it, brought back memories. Exactly. And that's, uh, and, uh, very, very cool. And so I just wanted, you know, not to bring up any bad memories or anything. Uh, I know, I know it's tough, but, uh, I just, I just really, I saw this the other day when I was doing that video and I wanted to talk about it because. I miss my dad, and it's a great, great memory of my dad. Uh, audio keeps going in and out. Rick, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what's happening, and I apologize. So uh, I'm just going to keep going because there's no way for me to reset my internet at this point, and hopefully you guys uh, will hear it. So uh, maybe, let's see. Let's try something here. Give me just a second. I keep thinking maybe my sunglasses that I got uh, – I keep pumping the brakes. What am I doing? I'm not. Uh, so Rick is right. Your audio is glitching. Wonderful. Uh, well, there's not a whole lot I can do at this point. Um, I did take uh, my sunglasses that were hanging around my neck off in case they were just bumping up against my microphone. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the look at that guy. So let's talk about a couple of new knives that came in this week. So the first one uh, is the QSP. Gannet, I'm told is how to say it, uh, because QSP knives are named after birds. Um, so <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm sorry. And I didn't know a gannet was a bird either. Um, that might have been it. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I bet you it was because of me moving around so much. My sunglasses were banging up against there. So I had just been out for a walk with the wife, still had the, the sunglasses. So thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it, guys. Um, so yeah, so this knife is a little interesting to me. Um, first of all, first things first, the sound this thing makes when you open it, 
is amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love the sound that knife makes. Um, and this is the easiest. If you guys want to get into a frame, a, a frame flipper, a front flipper, this might be the easiest one I've experienced so far. Uh, that tab sticks out quite a bit. And so it's, whoops, it's easier for me to get a purchase on than some of the, the earlier ones. I've like the Vero, it's really low profile. It was a little harder for me. Um, and so you got this raindrop carbon fiber and uh, the really cool OD green micarta. And that blade, I just love that blade profile. Uh, just really, really cool. So uh, I really am enjoying this one. Uh, let's see, how's the micarta? Okay, so um, you say it's so good. Yeah, I mean, this is really good micarta. It is not too, uh, what's the word? It's not too smooth and it's not too rough. You can, oh yeah, definitely get a very good grip off of it. Uh, really, really enjoy it. Uh, there you go. Nebby Cloud put up a link to it from Blade HQ. Thank you very, very much. Uh, it is a budget blade. I cannot remember off the top of my head how much it is. Um, but, but I mean, this is great so far. It is um, 154 CM on the steel. And I really am digging the pocket clip as well. It is very slender and sits in the pocket very slender. Uh, I am liking it. It comes in this really nice QSP box uh, with, well, not with this. This is a tour knives uh, cloth, so it didn't come with that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but it comes in this really cute, cute, really cool 82. So 82 for uh, 154 CM and really nice materials as far as the handle. Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really, yeah, Nebby Cloud is killing it. Thank you so much for all the help. Uh, so I'm really digging that knife. And that is the first QSP that I have. Um, yeah, their packaging is really nice. I should open that up. Um, uh, it's the first QSP I've experienced. Nice cutout. Uh, no, well, my lighting is not helping you out here much, but nice cutout for the, uh, for the knife magnetic closure on that really nice. So uh, another one I want to show uh, that I think is really, really cool. Let's see. Uh, Jason got his Gannett, Gannet, excuse me, for $69.99, the cheapest I could find. Now, Jason, what were the materials on yours? Because I know yours is a little bit different uh, and you carry that one quite a bit, I believe. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's really cool as well. Uh, looked for your Boy Scout knife, but couldn't find it. Yeah, you know, I, I'm very happy because I actually lost that one for a while and I found it. So hopefully you'll find yours as well. And Todd Carr, welcome, brother. I don't think I said hello to you, so hello. Um, so uh, we now have an Asher knife. Uh, so uh, again, Asher, guys, is a company I reached out to and I said, hey, I'd like to have some uh, stickers or swag. Uh, let's see, carbon fiber and micarta. Very cool. Um, oh, is that, let's see, Jason, is that what yours is? I can't remember. Um, so are you done, John? Don't come on, man. You're killing me. Um, so Asher, I reached out to them and I'm just like, I'd love for you guys to be a part of some of my giveaways. You got some swag and they're like, forget the swag. We're sending you a knife. So they sent uh, the flashback, which is a really cool, uh, you know, kind of like uh, our friends at Finch are doing kind of a modern take on a traditional pattern. Uh, hey, Todd, no, no reason to be uh, upset. You're late, man. He has the Jason has the brown micarta with the uh, black and red shred carbon fiber. So that's really cool. You found a, a really good deal on that. I'm uh, that sounds like so that's awesome. So there's Nebby Cloud on top of it already. The Asher flashback, guys, is a flipper. Um, it is uh gray texture, uh, contoured and textured uh G10. Uh, if you can see it, and then it has this really cool clip point uh with the Asher logo there. And on this side, it tells you that it is 12C28. Uh, excuse me, 12 C 27 N. Uh, and so again, uh, it, it is not, you have to get it past the detent, uh, but it is definitely a shake shut kind of nice and smooth uh, closure. 
nice. I mean, you're not, I said in my, uh, unboxing, uh, very hard to fail this one. I think, uh, it has a very tight detent, but not too tight. Uh, very impressed. This will be after I carry it a bit and, um, and review it. Uh, this will be a giveaway, just like the knife we're doing tonight for our giveaway, uh, which I'm going to talk about a little bit here in a moment. Um, so yeah, I, I really am digging this one, guys. I, this is the third, uh, Asher I've had on the channel. I had the, uh, Nomad frame lock and then, uh, which was the one that I originally had some issues with. Um, as a matter of fact, I still have that one that I had issues with. I don't carry it, uh, cause I haven't been able to fix it or make it less, uh, uh, lock, uh, lock rock. Um, I didn't invent a new steel. It says. 12 C 27 N. That's what it says. Do you think I invented it? I didn't invent it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I will be giving this one away. Slicey Dicey named the Asher flashback. I did not know that. Little bits of knowledge from our friend Nebby Cloud. I love it. Um, this one is on bearings. Uh, I am, let's see, let me double check. Yep, it's on bearings. Uh, I, I'll have to double check for sure, but I am pretty sure this one is on bearings. Sure looks that way when you look inside. Um, but yeah, it just flies out of there, guys, and it is sharp. Um, so I cannot wait to carry it and then give it away. Uh, so it's going to be one of you guys' uh, at, at some point, and uh, we shall see who uh, wins it. I did not know that Slicey Dicey named that. So uh, thanks to Asher for sending that one along. And by the way, this guy, the QSP Gannett, comes by way of the Apex Pass Around Group. Uh, okay, it says uh, brass cage bearings. Okay, cool. Very nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, this comes by way of the Apex Pass Around Group, uh, led by David over at Blade Banter. I said 12C. Well, okay, I, you know. I make mistakes. If you if you guys have gotten this far with my channel and you just realize that I make mistakes, you're not paying attention. Uh, did your Nomad come with a second backspacer? No. Um, no, it did not. It it uh, it came straight from. Well, it came from another reviewer to me. Let me get it out. So hold on just a second. So I still have. All right. Let me. I can't reach it. So I still have the one that has the, the lock rock. And again, I don't want to give them bad publicity because they sent me a really good one after this. So uh, I kept it in hopes that I could uh, make this, you know, work on it and make the lock a little But what the issue was on this one uh, was that the, the lock moves. Uh, so the, it doesn't, it's not a tight lockup. So that results in some lock rock. Um, and I'm just not super comfortable carrying it with that. But design-wise, when they sent me another one, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. The, the action, the design, uh, the fit and finish on that one was really, really good. Uh, and I really, really loved it. Um, but, uh, yeah, just really enjoyed that uh, very, very much. <laughs> Get him big, right? Come on, Mark, he doesn't need any help. Uh, yeah, no, you never make mistakes, Mr. Burton. Oh, I had to go there. I'm sorry. Um, the Asher Nomad frame lock did not have an extra. This one that I got did not. So that is true. I have the Axis Style Lock Nomad, and it came with a second backspacer. Okay. All right. So it must be the, the frame lock didn't. Um, yeah, they had some issues with their OEM. And obviously, I mean, there's been issues with some people apparently got the wrong steel um, and things like that. But um, if you get a good one, if you don't get a good one, I, I know for a fact that Asher Justin will stand behind it. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you get one, it's not right. Let Justin know, and he's going to make it right. Cause he did that for me. Um, and, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to take care of you guys. Um, yeah, he's, he's really easy to work with and a great guy. So, uh, before I move on to another thing, I just wanted to show this beauty, um, everybody keeps saying they have the prettiest shadow Ranger or Patriot Ranger. I think this is a work of art now. Um, leave Jody alone, you bully. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the prettiest Shadow Ranger. And if you haven't seen my video on this, you need to go check it out. Uh, guys, you want to talk about memories. Trevor and I will always have this memory uh, together because we had a blast doing this. And I don't know about you guys, but when he started egging me on, it was uh, very, very easy for me to keep on going and turn this knife into a boomerang. Um, and he actually thinks we should go out and punish it some more. Uh, and I said at the beginning of the uh, the stream, I challenge all of you who have these, I'm just going to say it, pieces of trash to treat them the same. That's all. So <laughs> there you go. If you guys have not seen, there you go. Nice, fast, bullying the Shadow Ranger. Uh, by the way, Trevor named the video. Uh, this is <laughs> the Warped Edition. Hey, hey, Peter, you think I could put it up on eBay and make a few bucks? Oh, come on. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I'm not going to listen to you anymore, uh, John. I'm done. I'm moving on. Uh, <laughs> Hi, wife. Hey, Christine. Welcome, welcome. The lovely, I don't even know. Yeah, battle worn, exactly. Uh, the lovely and amazing. Is that what it is? Lovely and amazing, Christine. Uh, Dave loves knives. Welcome. Uh, yeah, I. here's the thing. So I struggle with this a little bit, guys. We made fun of, of that infomercial, and then everybody in our, <laughs> our knife community went and bought a 100 of them. Uh, so we rewarded them for their... Uh, two CR one twelve thirty two, whatever st stainless steel this is. Uh, and uh, yeah, mine. Uh, the the good thing was if I had stopped midway through the abuse, it actually got really good assisted action for a while. Uh, and and it was pretty um, the apocalyptic finish. That's good. I like it. Uh. Yeah, and it really didn't. If you guys watch my video of uh, Andy's um, uh, Glock knife when I went out in the woods, you know that a really good knife can take giant chunks out of wood. This thing just kind of bruised the wood a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, poor knife. I think it's a knife. I think that's what they call it. But uh, it, uh, it it struggled, and so we had to give it its proper burial. Um, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing, Jason. They came out with another commercial now for Memorial Day. They have the Patriot uh, one, like uh, JB has, uh, as a special now. So now you can get that one from their little infomercial if you just pay for shipping. 0.5 CR. I like that. Very good. That's great. Uh, so, so yeah. Knife Nut, welcome, and it's been a good Monday. It was a very busy day at work, uh, but very, very good. All right, so let's move on. These other knives. We're going to go to, and uh, you guys, if you've seen my unboxing, and hopefully you saw the review already today, uh, we're going to move on to the TRM knife uh, that I reviewed today, and we'll ask answer a few questions, and then we'll move towards one of those there giveaways. Um, so this is the... Uh, TRM Neutron. So again, same story, reached out to the social media department at TRM and said, hey, I uh, would love to have some of your stickers or swag to give away to my viewers on my live streams. I think I know they say, send an email to, to this person. I didn't even realize it was the owner. Uh, I get a hold of Marianne and she's like, hey, I, let me see your channel. And then a little bit later, she's like, look, I love your channel. I love the interaction with the uh, I'm going to send you some stickers and some other stuff, but I'm going to send you a knife to give away. And I'm like, yay, because uh, the good news for me is I have seen an Adam before Kyle from DTOM knives. And uh, but I've never seen a neutron. So it was good to have that comparison. I will tell you, I am going to get a TRM knife and it's going to be an Adam. I don't dislike this at all. I love it. It's a good sign said i'm starting to get into larger knives maybe i'll eventually have both uh because they're both amazing knives uh but i really really uh thank you christine i appreciate that 
I look, Christine liked my video. See, John, some people do like my videos. Uh, <laughs> they barely have enough of those to sell. So they have, they did a drop of um, neutrons uh, like a week ago. And I think I heard there might be another one coming up. And then it sounds like at the end of the month or the first part of June, they're going to drop some atoms. Uh, my issue is I really want to go buy one at, at um, uh, Blade Show so that I can look at the options and maybe get a you know a different scale uh, you know option than than this uh, carbon fiber and that's just me, but she, yeah she's she's just super nice um, and so uh, this right here is going to be given away. Let's just look at it for a minute though. Super thin. Um, very sharp. If you didn't see my video, um, because this is fresh out of the bar box, by the way, when you open the, the package, it says right on the bag, it says warning, extremely sharp. Um, so yeah. And, and I can vouch for that. Okay. We're going to really get daring here. Um, and I did this on the, the recorded video, but we might as well try it live too. Um, it just, oh my goodness. I mean, guys, there is no, it is effortless cutting. It, there is no resistance whatsoever unless you go to the end of the blade, which was me. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop cutting now. So whoever gets this still gets it with a nice edge on it. Um, but as you can see, that thing just absolutely uh, cuts paper. And uh, let's see, I know just made some ruby red... Neutron tooth, very cool, very cool. Um, thank you. Did, what? John? John? That. Yeah, Marianne is really nice. Guys, and JB, I, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen this, but I have seen if I get an atom, I'm probably then going to go pursue the models. So if you guys haven't seen those, uh, Trout is my favorite kind of fishing, although I've been doing a lot of bass fishing uh, this spring. Um, yes, that's exactly right, Jason. No, I don't feel comfortable always doing it because I screw it up all the time. But if I know I have a very sharp knife, if I could tell it's sharp, then I... Man, you guys are just busting my chops. Uh, that's funny. Um, so yeah, all, all of those options there. I mean, have you guys seen the starry night scales, uh, that they have, uh, th those are cool, really, really cool. And there's all kinds of scale options. And so that's kind of, uh, uh, Oh, audio is cutting out again. I don't know. Uh, Chicago, I know they're sold out, man, but they've been, they definitely have been dropping quite a few. So, uh, just, just keep looking for it. And uh, thanks, Nebby Cloud, for, for putting that up there. Guys, if you get a chance, uh, go thank them on their Instagram. I would appreciate that. Uh, and we're we're going to definitely uh, – it's a business model or something. So, yeah, I just, I just think they keep their staff small. And uh, they do them in little spits and spurts. Now, uh, I, I believe Marianne said the other day on the Facebook group that the atom drop – we talked about that at the beginning of the stream. I knew they were coming up. Uh oh. It says uh, on my stream that uh, my internet connection is. So hopefully you guys still hear me. Um. So I was saying, Dave. Uh, I may reboot my router before, guys, and I'm really, really sorry. Um. So. Uh, what I was saying was, yeah, the tour folding knives are going to be amazing, and they're coming out June first. Models with two options of one and first Winchester. Um, so, uh, <laughs> thanks, Dave. Can you guys hear me now? Uh, I guess I'll wait a moment because everybody's acting can't hear me. So. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know. There's not a whole lot I can do when the internet decides it hates me. Uh, one says they can actually hear me. So 
I'm just going to sit here and tell somebody, okay, Knife Nut says he hears me. Therapeutic Edge says he hears me. All right. So I can go to the giveaway. So Nebby Cloud, uh, we will, and I'll get you to put startup. Uh, first of all, I want to show you guys what you're going to win. Let's move a couple of things off and go from there. Oh, wait. I Hold on. You're going to have to wait for the giveaway for a second. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot an important thing. Uh, I do have an unboxing, if my internet will hold up, uh, from my buddy JB, and I almost forgot it. And guys, if you saw, he did a video uh, like a week ago where he gave away a knife, an affiliation knife. I didn't even realize I had interviews due, uh, which is comment on his videos, and I won the knife. So good, good news for me. I won the knife. Uh, good news for you. Most likely, this knife will be given away back to you guys. Hey, it's JB's giveaway because uh, it is his knife. Um, so hopefully, sing to you. I'm not going to sing. Um, begin unboxing. Is uh, you guys saw JB's review of this? This is uh, Kershaw End Game. There's the focus issue again. Number. 2095. Uh, and here we go. Really cool looking knife. There's a lot going on on those scales. Uh, but man, oh wow, it is sharp. And no, I'm not cutting paper, Jason. Don't be a smart aleck. I, I knew it was coming. Um, this one is D2 steel. I actually really dig the feel of this guy in hand. Uh, not a super drop shutty guy, but really nice. Wow. Okay, I'm I'm actually color me a little bit impressed with this one. That's uh really, really nice. So JB, thank you very much. Uh the what issue? I don't know. John, are you just looking for anything and everything uh that I say wrong today? <laughs> I don't know what I said. Uh hit the like button if you like hearing the live stream. Uh I'm not throwing anything at the shadow. What? Focus issue, John. Focus. Uh, so so the Shadow Ranger is messing up. All right, we're going to move it then, just in case that is the issue. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. So I will move to the giveaway, and hopefully you can hear me good enough to be able to do the giveaway, and we will go from there. Um, sorry for the buffering issues, but yeah. JB, thanks so much for sending that one along. Guys, be looking for that in an upcoming giveaway, not today, but an upcoming giveaway. So uh, let's see. We have 36 folks in here, and I have lost my card. There it is, and I'm going to use my Parker Jotter with the uh, new really cool uh, refill in it, and we're going to write down a range here. Let's do all righty, and all right. So, uh, if you can hear me, Nebby Cloud, <laughs> go ahead and throw up the start, and then we will go to the range. So, oh, wait, 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 don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. I know I just told you to do it, but don't do it yet. Um, so you get the uh, the knife the uh, lovely uh, Neutron, and you get these awesome green scales. And then, hey, Grady's Gear, uh, basically we're, we're uh, buffering like crazy because my internet provider stinks out loud. So uh, hopefully you can hear me and it will stay there. Then we have a giant pack of awesome swag, guys, including the Trevor uh and uh kc special of the number three butter knives fast that is right you get serial number three signed by myself and signed by trevor so that is awesome and then you get all kinds of stickers from different channels uh you get the knives fast first and there's jb sticker knife dude bearded gear d tom uh, uh women carry knives the therapeutic edge this awesome uh, banter sticker. Anyway, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Cold Steel, uh, River's Edge Cutlery, Hogue. Uh, I believe there's one of the pinup ones in there as well. 
a Benchmade sticker, a Wii sticker, and a really cool, awesome tour knife sticker. Um, just really cool stuff. And yeah, there's the pub sticker. It fell out for you just so you could make sure there was one in there. So there you go. So let us try again. If you want to go ahead and drop that start for me, uh, that would be great. Nebuchadnezzar. And then we will uh, move towards finishing this off since everybody's having uh, a hard time hearing me. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> you really need some Winchester stickers. Hit me up, man. I'm starting to run low on a, on a few people's stickers here. All right. Oh, so Jason says it cleared up. So Jason, your job next week is to send me an email and remind me to reset my router. Just kidding. Um, does that mean I get, yes, absolutely. JB, please try to win. Uh, and so here's your range guys. It is uh, 150 to 240. That's right. I know it's some sort of weird numbers. Uh, 150 to 240. So you may go one guest per person only. Uh, Continental U.S. shipping only one guest per person. Uh, go for it, guys. Oh, by the way, closest without going over. I almost forgot to say that. I know you most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to say it because I know we have some newbies. All right, I see lots of numbers coming through. A couple of them pretty close already. Nebby Cloud, thank you. Yeah, any anybody in here is welcome to guess, please. Da, 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 da. One guess only. Yes, thank you. One guess only. Kimberly, I don't think I've said hello to you, so welcome. Welcome, welcome. John R., I'm not sure I said hi to you as well. Uh, some of you may have been lurking. Uh, oh, it's Kimberly. Now. Okay, that's uh, related to uh, Justin, the knife dude, I believe. So there we go. Uh, Andrew with the number. Yeah, guys, I'm seeing some really close guesses here. Thank you, John, for saying hello back. And by the way, for those of you wondering why there's random paper all over the table, it was shaved by this very sharp knife that we're giving away. I can't talk. Yeah, I was, I was humming, Christine. I don't know what it is. That's your mom. Very cool. He's got his mom in here trying to win for him. Meow, that's a knife. All right. Notice me, knife master. Hello, hello. Very cool name and very cool message. Thank you. That is hilarious. There's Peter's guess. We'll give it another 30 seconds or so, and we're going to wrap it up. Da, 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 da. I keep too many knives open beside me here. I'm going to end up stabbing myself. So I am now closing all of the knives. Except the Shadow Ranger because it doesn't close. It has forgotten how to close. All righty. All right. If you don't have your guess in, get it in now. Stop is about to come. Exactly. Too many knives, Peter. I didn't think that was a thing. I didn't think too many knives was, was a thing. Uh, a common problem. Uh, it's safer open. Okay, no, I don't think so. Uh, oh, oh, the Shadow Ranger. Yes, it is. It very much is. Thank you for the stop there, Nebby Cloud. He was, he was waiting for me to finally say it. But uh, there we go. All right, so let's see what our number is, and let's see who won. I saw uh, one that was very close, and we'll have to go back and look here, but the number was 209. And the one I saw was, I believe, Ian at 208. Did we see anybody closer than 208? I see Ian G there. Ooh, Rick is dead on. Sorry, Ian. I spoke too soon. Da, 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 da. 
Look at Rick dead on. That is awesome. All right, let's see. Does anybody else, uh, JB, Nevy Cloud, anybody, does anybody see any I'm missing that are either, well, it would have to be dead on like, like Rick. If not, it's Rick's. So let's see. Rick, Rick it is. Rick, Rick, very cool. Look at that. Um, yeah, you got 204. Uh, Jamie got 204, but we had a 209. So uh, very close. You know, that's, that's, oh no, don't cry. Uh, Rick, congratulations, br brother. I know you've been wanting to win one of these. Uh, very, very happy for you. That's awesome. Uh, so Rick, if you would, uh, I may already have your address. I, I'll have to look because Rick is uh, Rick is one of my patrons, guys. And uh, by the way, thank you all, oh, Rick. Do you want to sell? Look at that, Rick. You've already got offers. Uh, <laughs> do that offline, guys. It's not happening here. Um, so uh, yeah, Rick is one of my patrons, guys. Uh, if you want to consider, uh, it's uh, uh, patreon.com slash knivesfast. Uh, and thank you to those who are patrons, JB and, uh, uh, Rick or here in the chat that are, uh, patrons and guys, I want to thank you all the patrons that helped me out. It's helping so much. It's not an inside job. Um, it's, uh, coincidence after coincidence, but whatever. Um, so there you go, guys. I don't even know what I was trying to say now. So there you go, Rick. Uh, congratulations, and I am—I know you are, Winchester. I'm not good at jokes. My kids say I don't know humor, uh, so that's a thing. So thanks everybody for joining, Rick. Hit, uh, hit me up just in case I can't find your address, and you're getting this neutron and the extra scales and uh, these stickers. So look, Rick, you're gonna get. Uh, some some knives fast stickers there that is cool too so uh, very very awesome and thanks everyone for showing up and for being here and for being patient with the terrible internet uh, I live in the boonies so sometimes my internet just decides it doesn't like uh, me at all so thanks so much for coming JB glad you were here uh, let's see Chicago uh, Jared White Tim Cook Grateful Panic uh, yeah, John, I'm actually very glad you were here. Uh, <laughs> uh, knife nut ENG, man, you were so close, brother. Uh, Jay Lepra Goblicon, Todd Carr, <clears throat> Andy. Uh, now that's a knife. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Monster, thank you for always being here, brother. Paper Tiger, thanks. And Nebby Cloud's putting up some more links for you guys. Uh, check out Tour Knives, especially with those awesome folders coming up. I am very excited about those. So thanks so much, everybody. And I really appreciate all of you. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be Mike K. Welcome and thank you. Uh, reboot that router. Thanks, Sandy. Uh, I, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to stop doing these streams because I just enjoy being with you guys so much. So thanks a lot. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel. <clears throat> Thanks, Nebu Cloud. I almost forgot to say that, man. You were awesome with those links. He was killing it. Thank you. Thank you. And hello, Dennis Watson. All right, now I'm signing off. <laughs>